Trey Vanoy, and this is a self quiz on our algebra word problems video series. We've been looking at two different topics here, combining it together. The issue of work when one person plus another person work together, how long does it take them to get a certain job or project done? And motion problems, distance equals rate times time. We've gone over the basics. You've had some problem sets to, to try to work on yourself, some examples that I looked at with you. And now it's time for a self quiz, which is going to be in two parts. So here we go. Let's take a look at work problems in this self quiz. And the idea is that the work that a person A can do by themselves, plus the work that person B can do by themselves, equals the total work to together. Well, of course, that makes sense. But in these kinds of word problems, in order to write the proper equation and solve, you have to think of it in fraction part of the work. So um, to do the total job by themselves, person A can do one fractional part of the work, plus person B can do another fractional part of the work. And we add that together, and that gives you the total fractional work they can do together. All right, so it's kind of a ratio and a fraction idea. All right, I want you to try these two problems coming right up. All right, you're looking at questions three and four. Notice it says round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So pause this video and come on back. I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's look at number three. Working alone, it takes Leah 13 hours to pick 40 bushels of apples. Julio can pick the same amount in 15 hours. Find how long it would take them if they worked together. So this is an example of a work algebra word problem. Now you can see the answer yourself about seven hours. Now to the nearest hundredth would be 6.96. All right, so if you had trouble getting that, let's check it out. Let's do the first fraction representing Leah. So one over how long it takes her to do that job herself. That'd be one over 13. All right, we're gonna to add to that one over the part that Julio can do, and that would be 15 hours doing it by himself. But if we want them to work together, we add those fractions together, and we're going to get 1 over, and I'll use x to represent their total time to do it together. All right. So the next step is to use kind of a shortcut here, and, and I have three fractions in this equation, and I need to find a common denominator and write all these in terms of the common denominator so we act basically get rid of the fraction notation. So I notice this denominator is 13, this denominator is 15, and this is x. So if I multiply all parts of that equation by 13 times 15 times x, so how does that help us? Well, the first fraction already has the 13, and those 13s would cancel, so the numerator is going to be multiplied by 15x and the denominator would disappear. All right, here the second fraction has 15 in the denominator, and so what's left is the 13 and the x, so I'm gonna multiply the one times 13x. Okay, I hope you're following that. In this final fraction, the denominator is x, that leaves me with the 13 times the 15, and that actually is 195 if I go ahead and multiply it right now. All right, so remember, this process gets rid of the fractions. So what do we have? 15x plus 13x equals 195. All right, use our algebra skills here and solve for x. Well, we combine the x terms together, so it would be 28x equals 195. And we're going to want to isolate the x, so we're dividing both sides by 28. And as you can see, when we divide that out, round to the nearest hundredth, yes, we will get 6.96 hours when they work together. All right, number four, here's our answer, and here's how you get it. Working together, Matt and Carlos can sweep a porch in 5.96 minutes. All right, that's going to be the right side of the equation, 1 over... 5.96 okay that is how long it takes them together all right what are their individual work times as fractions had he 
done it alone, Carlos would take 13 minutes. So let's go 1 over 13 and find how long it would take Matt to do it alone. 1 over, now let's use M I guess for Matt. We could certainly use X. But how do we get rid of the fraction notation here? Right, we're going to take all these denominators and multiply all parts by all three parts here. In other words, 1 over 13, I'm going to multiply it by the 13, the 5.96, and the M, but the 13's cancel. So that means that I'm going to actually multiply the numerator here by 5.96X, or sorry, 5.96M. Hope you can read that. Here I have M already, so that means I need to multiply the 13 times 5.96. If you have a calculator handy, you'll see that it's 77.48 multiplied by 1. And here I have the 5.96 already, and that cancels out, leaving me with the 13 and the M. So this numerator gets multiplied by 13 M. All right, continuing on. Here's my new equation. And obviously I want to solve for M, so I'm going to subtract 5.96 M from each side. Looking like this. And I drop down the 77.48, and this is 7.04. I want to divide both sides by 7.04, and that will give me my final answer. Once again, that would be about 11 minutes, a little bit over, actually ran it to the nearest hundredth. All right, so read the question, set up the um, fractions, remember the relationship, first person's work um, portion, plus second person's work portion equals one over the total amount spent working together. Okay, that's the basic idea with these kinds of standardized test algebra word problems. All right, that's part one of the self quiz. Part two, we're gonna talk about motion. Distance equals rate times time. Check it out.